Here's how you produce professional tech house track like San Pacho. I don't really even know where to begin or even really what to do. Because no matter what I do, every time I get ahead, it's like I go back. I'm just going to let this one ride. Let's start with the kick. The kick I used is from the Noizu sample pack. I also shortened it a bit, used some EQ to add more punch, and added more clarity by boosting frequencies around 700 Hz. Added some attack to the kick with Transient Master, and lowered sustain a bit. There is also a bit of fruity soft clipper, and the last effect on the kick mixer is the EQ that filters the kick on the buildup. There is also the second kick, I just took the same kick, made it unique, routed it to another mixer, and just added the high pass filter. The clap is made out of three different layers, and then grouped on the mixer with the following effects. EQ to shape the sound a bit, Oxford inflator, and the EQ filter for the buildup. Same with the hi-hats, three layers, and the same effects. EQ, Oxford inflator, and the filter. There is also a perk loop. Perk loop number two, perk loop number three, and the shaker loop. The only effect I used on the loops was the low cut. Once all that is done, I grouped them all on one mixer track and added KSH MR Essentials and Transient Master. All drums together sounds like this. For the bass line, I use two layers. The first one is the sub layer, and it sounds like this. The only effect I used was an EQ and the sidechain. The second layer is the layer that adds character to the bass, and it sounds like this. Also used an EQ to remove the lows and boost a bit of the low mids and the sidechain. Then I grouped them into one mixer track, added a bit of saturation, KSH MR essentials, and the EQ filter that filters the sound on the buildup. When added, all together, bass sounds like this. Let's start with the lead now. The lead sounds like this. I added a lot of automation to make the lead as unique as possible. First, I automated the LFO rate, which controls the level of the oscillator 1 and the noise. The second thing I automated is the wavetable position of oscillator B. I also automated the shaper box panning, which makes a lead a lot wider. And lastly, there is a reverb automation. Once all that was done, I consolidated the whole lead and added a couple of effects. OTT, EQ, another EQ, KSHMR Essentials, Filter, Another EQ, Reverb, Oxford Inflator, Soothe, and the Sidechain. In the second part of the drop is another lead, and it sounds like this. It's a pretty simple sound, and I just added EQ and widened it a bit. Let me know what you think of the track, and hopefully you learned something from it. You can grab the whole project file down in the link.